Hello guys and welcome to the quick UI update because Game Freak revealed some new UIs for me to cover so I'm just gonna cover it. This is separate from the news recap but let's just get started. So first off we have the experience screen which has a diagonal, bots cutting half the screen off and I actually missed this the first time around it was apparently in a Japanese trailer so eh. It has the basic stuff like the experience ball, the level and the Pokemon. It's pretty simple, but I would like to see red accents because apparently Game Freak is putting red accents into the UI. Really interesting. Then the X button, which we covered in the last video, it brings up a dialog box, so it allows you to choose through Pokeballs like Generation 7. I expected that, but eh, it's great to know. But also, the moves, like move buttons, um, does tell you if the opponent is super effective, neutral, resist, and immune to that move. So. I know a lot of people said that they hope they don't to return, but I, I remember resistance and effectiveness and the type chart really well, so it doesn't bother me, but now most people don't want to see it back, so I, I don't know. Then you have the switch screen for Pokemon. It had red essence, which is why I said red essence in the East Burn screen would have been great. Um, it has the Pokemon on the left side, and on the right side you have your moves, type, and abilities with descriptions. So it's really like decent. The only reason you have to check somewhere is if you want to see your stats. So it's really helpful. And well, if you select them on, you could swap, check health, restore, and cancel. So I think this is a great actual UI, and I actually really like this one a lot. So it's really minimalistic, so yeah. Um, if a Pokemon faints in the wild, a dialogue box um, pops up. It looks kind of awkward in my opinion. And if it had like the Pokemon fainted test, dialogue popped up, I think it would look better, it would look more complete, and with like the pop-up move level ever so slightly. The nickname screen is heavily red colored, which actually surprised me. The dialogue doesn't go across the whole screen, which bugs me. It's like 40% width. Um, Game Freak, make the height and width, but width way bigger, make the height slightly bigger. Thank you Game Freak. I have no idea if you could do this before, but you could actually check your party, and then you can um, add it to your party, like replace them on. I just don't know why they have the dialogue text pop up like that, or bots thing with you, pop up like that. I can make better UI than that. That just looks awkward. It actually looks like something I do for like testing, see if thing like, like the width and height would work. So maybe it's just a test and think we will fix it in the final release. Then you have an area pop up for the wild area, and I'm gonna guess this will also work for routes and towns. Um, it continues with the red, black, and white color scheme, so I'm wondering if the reddish and pinkish color is for the shield version of the game, and it will change to a bluish color when playing sword. That's pretty interesting. Um, also, the online got revealed, so you guys know how much I love my online because I made an entire PSS video about that. It's called the Ycom, and CLB said it's the successor to PSS, so that's great. It has little icons or stamps pop up in the bottom left, like I recommended, but recommended in the bottom right. It has trade icon for trading, battle icon for battling, and it has a raid match requesting co-op and what mod it is, so it has like a routes on it. So saying you need other trainers to join your foursome, because this is the game free card of foursome, to defeat this route. So yeah. We also got a look at the complete UI. Uh, you can scroll past um, recent requests from people. I'm just gonna tell you guys this recent. You can like tag your post, so like seeking Match raid battle, link battle, link trade. So I'm guessing there are a couple more tags, and you can search by tag. Because there is a search button, but let me get to the next thing. Um, it shows you what route they're on, so I'm guessing for Matt's um, raid battles, but that doesn't make sense. Nah. Um, you can also block people, so just block anyone that you don't like. So, nah. You can block me. I'm assuming this stuff, but the buttons on the left side looks like you can trade two times. I don't know the differences. You can image trade. Is that thing from like X and Y coming back? For like you can trade your movies and everything. Um, battle link, obviously. Um, refresh from recent notifications. And well, you can search through requests. Well, that's all assuming. So take that actually with a grain of salt. I might be wrong, but I did predict PSS coming back. I just want to bring that out. And I predicted it decently well. So, uh, thank you. And now. The thing, the reason I wanted PSS to come back, came back in this, and it is the trainer icons. I love the trainer icons. Thank you, Game Freak. You have made this the best game, even though you removed a lot of Pokemon. I understand these trainer icons took a lot to work to implement, and I'm happy now. 
So thank you, Game Freak. Then you have the Raid Battle setup and UI. So for the setup UI, it shows the pistol of a Raidmon blacked out though. So it isn't obvious, it's like when someone tries to clickbait you, but it's like an obvious thing. So it's really hard to not know, like the outline and everything. And it has the type of it, so it's even less obvious. So Game Freak, what are you doing? And then it has a difficulty rating. And it also shows you um, the other trainers Pokemon they chose. And you only can choose one Pokemon, so. And it has a 10 turn limit. Um, the raid battle UI is mostly the same, but has a move timer, like Wi-Fi, because you only can go up to 10 turns, of course. In the top left corner, it has the teammate mods with an HP bar and like a bubble telling you if they've selected a move or not. In the top center, it has the raid boss Pokemon's name with the HP bar below it. And right next to the mod's name, it has um, like a status symbol and like the bond icon stat symbol is not centered with the name. It's like on the same like field. I feel like it should be above. And then it has shield damage, so it will raise the Pokemon's defense to make it eat a lot. And it has five bars, and they will lower down by one if you do a regular attack, and by two if you do a max. The selection screen has a red background, like a red transparent background. With your teammate mons on the same row, with the raid mats mon on top, with a bigger sprite. I believe it's the let's go sprites, so that's interesting. But yeah, that's all. What do you guys think of the UI? I think it's pretty interesting. But if you guys did enjoy this, well, you can like, subscribe, uh, comment below. I don't know why you'd comment. Um, I actually have nothing, but just comment below. But thank you, and goodbye.